Congressman Peter DeFazio is on the line with us. Hey, Congressman. Congressman DeFazio? Hello. Hello, Congressman DeFazio. You are on the air, the Democrat oh, from Oregon's 4th right. District. Very careful here. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> very, very good. Um, so what's going on? DeFazio.house.gov is the website, of course. Uh, Congressman, what is going on with this uh, piece of legislation where they want to backstop the banks so that the, if they gamble and lose, we pick up the tab? But if you or I gamble and lose in our 401ks, we just get screwed. Yep, you got it. Um, well, it's uh, another example of the Republicans breaking uh, their promises to the American people. We have uh, a, a bill that funds the entire government, the United States of America, full of miscellaneous riders uh, that was just made available yesterday, voted on today. Then they uh, held the vote open for an extraordinarily long period of time to strong arm uh, a lame duck, unelected Republican uh, into changing his vote and a couple of other Republicans into changing their vote so they could prevail by a two-vote margin. And as you pointed out, uh, you know, this would allow uh, the uh, Wall Street banks to gamble uh, in the riskiest of derivatives, those that brought down the economy in 2008, with, uh, with Deposit insured money. That is money that people have deposited what they in thought what they thought was a commercial bank, but actually is a Wall Street gambling firm. And um, but don't worry if they lose all the money, uh, they expect a taxpayer bailout. So this is going to allow them to use taxpayer insured deposits in their gambling. Now I thought the vote for this was scheduled for two o'clock this afternoon. Are you saying it's already well, passed? The, the well, the rule to allow the bill to come up passed. And I, that's, I think that was the critical vote. Which, which means I, the, the time I, to amend it has passed. Yeah, we, they brought up the bill under a rule, and if we had defeated the rule, we could have amended it. Now it's an up or down vote on the bill, but I, I think that's an indication that the bill itself will pass, probably by a larger margin than two votes. Wow. I've been around here a long time. That's just my prediction. I yeah. hope I'm wrong. Yeah. What can we do? I don't know, get out the pitchforks and the torches, uh, you know, march. Uh, I don't know. It's just, it's absolutely outrageous. But, you know, they've got the American people snookered. I mean, you look at the last election, heck of a lot of people voted Republican, who I think would be outraged at the idea that they are giving uh, the Wall Street banks, uh, you know, uh, the opportunity to once again tank our economy and to once again get totally bailed out by the taxpayers. I thought that was sort of the foundation that, of course, in Obamacare for the tax, for the uh, Tea Party. But, the, you know, um, uh, I don't know. You know, it's... it's uh, well, there's also, there's also this piece in this legislation that says that companies that are paying pensioners right now can, can start dialing back the amount of money they're giving this so-called pension reform. They can cut existing, you know, pensions, people who are getting pensions right, that, right now. Do I have that right? Well, that's uh, George Miller, who is a great advocate of labor uh, and pensions and everything else, uh, argued in favor of that. The problem is Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation is split between two funds. One fund is called the Multi-Employer Fund, uh, and uh, there are a few huge uh, multi-employer plans uh, on the verge of uh, bankruptcy, Central uh, Teamsters, and a couple others, and the fund itself is on the verge of bankruptcy. So um, there are already people getting guaranteed pensions from PBGC, Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation. Prospect is it all goes bluey unless the Republicans uh, would bail it out. Uh, so, uh, you know, George and others uh, who are great advocates of labor are argued uh, in favor of that provision. There were other egregious things. They gratuitously cut Pell Grants by $300 million. They cut some transportation investments by $100 million. Uh, they, uh, they're going to allow uh, billionaires to contribute over $3 million a year to the political party of their choice, and you can bet most of the time that's going to be the Republican Party because that's who put it in the bill. Right. So uh, there's a lot. I mean, who knows what else is in there? That's just the tip of the iceberg of the bad stuff. Wow. Um, do you think that, there, that this will be a, you know, challenged in the Senate and come back for reconciliation, or is this going to happen? You're laughing? The Senate will be on the way out the door when this bill comes over. Yeah, so... so They're never a bulwark. In fact, even Elizabeth Warren said, well, the House has got to do its job and stop this bill. Well, we're not in the majority. The Democrats nominally are in the Senate still, 
if somebody can stop it, it should be them. <laughs> that, right. <laughs> so, wow. Wow, that's pretty bleak. This yeah. is, it, it, this. It, correct me if I'm wrong, it seems to me that this is just a pretty clear consequence of, of Citizens United and Buckley versus Vallejo and this whole series of Supreme Court decisions that have said that basically you too can buy a politician. Well, I, hey, come on, Tom, think bigger than that. You're not just buying a politician, you're buying... An entire Congress, or an entire political party. branch of government thus far. They're going to work on the other branch uh, in 16. Well, this is the Sunlight Foundation just released this report that the, the most politically active companies, these 200 politically active companies in America, spent $5.8 billion in campaign contributions between 2007 and 2012 and made $4.4 trillion in government benefits. That, uh, you know, and, and for... for Con, that's, a, you know, that's a pretty good return on investment. It, it is. It's, it's horrifying. Anyhow, Congressman Peter Maybe DeFazio. Yeah, thanks for dropping by and giving us the inside skinny. I appreciate it. Hey, thanks, Tom. Always great talking.